Okay, so today I'm gonna be dyeing Sola wood flowers, which are literally flowers made out of tiny shaved pieces of wood from the tapioca tree. So what I have here are three bowls that are gonna be the three different colors, which will be created by mixing uh, water, glycerin, and your acrylic paint color of choice. And the ratio of water to glycerin is eight to one. And as far as the amount of paint to water, it just depends on how strong you want the pigmentation to be. You just kind of can start and what you'll end up doing is dipping these flowers into the water. And if it comes out and it's too soft of a color, you just add a little bit more paint and give it another dip until it's the color that you want. So I'm gonna have a purple, a blue, and a soft yellow. And to make a softer yellow, I'm just using this fluorescent yellow mixed with a little bit of white to soften it up. So you just take your flower and I'll just start by dyeing this one blue. Give it a dip. And then as the wood absorbs the paint, it'll get a lot softer too. The wood will get softer and you can kind of work with it and make sure the paint gets down in it. i do the next one. Now let's try a bigger one here. So we have this. I'm going to dip it in the purple. See, the purple is much, much more pigmented. Something else I did though, this purple is created by dark purple, dark blue, and a little touch of black and you can see that if you open it you can see where the paint has or has not gotten to and the reason why you add glycerin to the water is because once these dyed flowers dry out they'll get really really crispy and they could just flake off and crumble away but with the glycerin it really keeps the flowers pliable and fresh and makes them last much, much longer. And if you're using these for something that you want to last, whether it's just a, a craft project or like I will eventually be using these for my wedding flowers, you want it to last. And adding the glycerin will keep them soft and keep them from just crumbling into dust. A cool little trick you can do, I'm just gonna Take a little paint on my finger and make a purple edge. And I'm intentionally doing it while this flower is still wet with the blue dye because it'll absorb it down into the petal much quicker. And it almost gives it a little tie dye effect. There's just something about a cross between blue and purple, you know, indigo. My eyes have just always been obsessed with it. And then I've also taken the two paint mixtures I had for this blue and this purple, and I mixed them together to create this color. There you go. And what I did with this one, original blue, and took a little of this new lavender and did the edging with it as well. So here's all the colors we created today. So the key things are making sure that your water is mixed with eight parts water to one part glycerin to make sure that once these flowers dry, they don't crumble and break apart. Another thing to remember is to let them dry for 24 hours, 48 hours, a week even if you can to make sure that they dry completely. And when you use them for a project, if you store them anywhere, those silica gel packets are a lifesaver because if there's any moisture, these will 
harbor mold and you do not want that. Look at all these gorgeous flowers. And that's that. Thanks for watching.